Question. Can we connect Jira with Microsoft 365 Copilot? The answer is yes. Hi, my name is Rafsan Hussainov, and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can establish connection between your Jira Cloud and M365 Copilot so that your business users can interact with Jira issues, tasks, projects, assignments inside M365 Copilot. Let's see the end result first. So here I am in M365 Copilot. And of course, I have M365 Copart license. In the search box, I can simply ask, what are the tasks for Copilot Studio Agents in Jira? This is one of the projects that I have. And as you can see, this appears in search results. This is the Jira. And if I extend this, you can see this is the list of tasks that are available in Jira. And if I come here, I can click and this will take me directly to Jira and to that specific uh, task. So, in the same way, I can go to chat, make sure you are in the work. Again, like to access Microsoft Graph, you need to have M365 Copilot license assigned to you. And here I can just simply ask, how many tasks do we have? in Jira for Copilot Studio Agents. So as you can see, now it's creating table. And here are the uh, tasks in our Jira board for Copilot Studio. So here are the results. You can see nice table. And this is the citations showing uh, the citation for each task. So this is perfect. So as you can see, we can get access to index Jira issues tasks in search, in chat, but how about declarative agent? That's also per, uh, possible. Let's go to Jira agent that I built. So before doing anything, I'll just show you the back end. So click edit. So I'll just go to configure. And here I just provided high level description instructions. The key here is the data source. So by default, you can already connect to your files, sites, chats, etc. But your admin can enable this connector in Microsoft 365 Admin Center and you can connect to it. And the cool thing about this, you can actually select the projects from your Jira. It's like you connect to SharePoint side, but you can also connect to SharePoint folders, etc. So if I click add project, from here I can look at the other project that I have. So perfect, uh, I don't need that. The other capability here I made is I enabled code interpreter and this will enable us to interact with agent and ask basically, hey, how many tasks do, do we have? And create a chart showing the status by uh, number of tasks, etc. So if I go to uh, agent itself, I can just ask how many tasks do we have? Excellent, you can see it just created. Now I can ask, create a chart showing task status. Excellent, and you can see here, we have three tasks in to-do state, one task in progress and one task is done. While it's creating this, let's go ahead and look at um, our Jira. So, three tasks in to-do state, one task in progress and one task in done. So if I come back here, I can see this uh, as well. So from here, I can simply click edit page and basically create a quick report. So I think this is really great. And now see how we can enable this. One thing I wanna show it to you here is the semantic indexing that happened. So basically, when the user provides prompt in M365 Copilot,
Copilot sends that prompt to Microsoft Microsoft Graph. Of course, you need to have a M365 Copilot license. And then here, Microsoft Graph finds the relevant context. This can be your meetings, emails, but it can be also external data sources, in this case, Jira Cloud. Then it takes that prompt and relevant content and sends back to a large language model. And after processing that content with the, pro the newly generated content will be returned to Microsoft Graph for the responsible AI and making sure that user has access to the underlying data and then respond back to the user. And the other thing here I want to talk about, all operations happen within M365 boundary to ensure compliance and data security. So external systems, in this case Jira Cloud, push content directly into Microsoft Graph. So no external calls are needed during reasoning. This index content becomes accessible to Copilot via the graph. So when a user asks a question like, how many tasks do we have? Copilot Orchestrator retrieves relevant index data from Microsoft Graph. And the orchestrator passes the query and context to large language model, which generates a response based on the index data. So this architecture avoids real-time crawling or external API calls, making it faster, safer, and more compliant. So let's go ahead and see how we can create this connection. So here is the official documentation. I will show it to you. By the way, I see a lot of confusion in the community. Uh, hey, can I use Jira Cloud or can I use Jira Data Center? I haven't tried Jira Server or Jira Data Center. This is specifically for Jira Cloud. So the capabilities here based on the user queries, uh, Copilot will return index issues, tickets, uh, tasks, and also enabling users use natural language to query the data. And limitations here doesn't support any user logged in application role to grant access of issues to users, doesn't index attachments. So if you have any column with attachments, it will not generate result for the attachments. And prerequisites here, you must be search admin or global admin. I would avoid giving global admin permission to everyone, but here search admin should be enough. And then you will need to have access to Jira Cloud instance. Besides that, you will need to have service account. In this scenario, I'm not using my service account, but if you are creating this um, connection for production, make sure you have service account and work with your Jira admin so that you can get these permissions. So where we can start, I will go ahead and open M365 admin. So you can see already I have established its connection, but let's start from scratch. So there are two ways that you can get access to these connectors. The traditional way is you would go to settings and then um, search and intelligence. And from here, look for data sources, manage copilot connectors, and you would see it here. But Copilot control system has a lot of capabilities now and one of them called connectors. Click connectors. And from here, if you have any connections, you will see here. Otherwise, you can just click add connection. And you will see a list of available connectors here. Some of them recommended. And here you see Jira Cloud. So I want to be clear here. If I type here Jira, you will see Jira Cloud and Jira Data Center. So I'm specifically connecting to Jira Cloud. In so from here, I will just rename this to Jira for Copilot. Then URL will be my uh, Jira instance URL and authenticate your Jira instance. You can choose basic authentication, but OAuth2 is the recommended one. So choose this and then you will need client ID and client secret. So how you can get that information? To get that, you will need to go to developer Atlassian Developer Console. And once you are here, click Create and click OOS 2.0 Integration. And give it, give it a name. So I'll just Jira Copilot, New. 
and click create. So this is the overview tab. Then we need to go to permission and find Jira API and click add. So we will need to also configure it. So here you can see all the scope and we will need to add these read uh, scope items to, to that connector. So uh, you will just need to copy one by one and in the developer console, you will go to granular scopes and click edit scopes and just paste each of these and click you like uh, select this and click save. So you will repeat this one by one. So I have gone through and added all these scope uh, for this connector. So the next step will be going to authorization and click add. Then from this uh, official documentation, look for this URL and paste it here and click save change. And after that, we will need to go to settings and you will see your client ID and secret here. So simply click client ID from here. Then let's go to our admin center. And here we can just paste that and the client secret will be this one and and paste it here and you will need to authorize you will need to accept now establishing the connection Awesome, it's successfully established. If you are an admin and if you are in the rollout stage of Copilot, I would recommend just selecting certain users. Right now I selected myself and you can also select uh, groups as well. So you can click notice and create. And if you go to custom setup, what you see here, you will see here basically your Jira URL, authentication information and if you click users so keep i recommend keeping this as is because this is basically only users in your source access control list will see search results from this data source so i would keep this as is if you go to content you can preview the data this may take some time but you can also choose projects and filter data manage properties you can see these are the properties avail will be available for our search and in the sync you can see the the two types of crawls one is incremental every 15 minutes this is basically anything updated or added will be uh, synced and there is other one is full crawl you can change this frequency and once you are done click create so while it's syncing so there is a copilot here as well. You can just click auto suggestion. This will help copilot to understand the purpose of this connector and click save. So you can actually click down because this will take time. In my scenario, it took almost a few hours and you can click down. What you will see if you go to your connections, now you will see that second connection just appeared here and preparing to sync. So once this is available, again, depends on your admin settings. If they avail make it available to everyone, your users will be able to uh, search for tasks, issues in your Jira board here by typing the information. They can use uh, retrieve information in chat and create a new content. And also you can, let's say, create an agent. And if you go to configuration tab, one of the knowledge sources or data sources you will see is Jira. So this is how you connect to Jira cloud so that users can use in M365 Copilot. And if we come back here, you can see it's preparing to sync. This will take a few hours. And then once it's established, you can go ahead and 
use it. Hope this was helpful. And if you think this is helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or thoughts, please leave that in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.